Chaining is when an object has the same concept, but multiple ways of expressing it. For example, a cat, C-A-T. The finger spelling of C-A-T is linked to the sign for cat, which in turn is connected to the printed word for cat and the spoken word for voicing cat. It can then link to the action of pretending to be a cat or connecting it to a picture or a video of a cat. All those mean the same thing, the concept of a cat, but expressed through different mediums and ways. The strategies of chaining is a wonderful way to connect language and literacy together in both ASL and English. I will now share different examples of how to use chaining. It is called L-L-A-M-A. -A. Do it with me. L-L-A-M-A. -A. Llama. Llama. What drink is it? Cow's milk. What is it called? H-O-R-S-E. Yeah, horse. I will be modeling how you as a professional can help the families practice this strategy. I will take on the role of a professional and interact with a hearing family. You can watch and think on how you would interact with families out there. See how the mother uses chaining? They point to the horse and connect it with the sign for horse. Then they connect the sign to the finger spelling, H-O-R-S-E, and you can point, finger spell it, show the sign, point to it again, spell it again, sign it again, and so on. Want to give it a try? Yes, horse. You can practice with the families by trying out this strategy in different settings all through the day.